girl shanties welcome to with love sb if this is your first time come on in and join my little family tap that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you can stay notified when there's a new video up and if this isn't your first time blah, 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 i appreciate your love and support so much as always and as you can see from the title of the video i'm actually on the way to the dealership right now this is my first luxury car purchase and i'm super excited about it so if that is something that you're interested in watching be sure to stay tuned So we made it to the dealership. I'm about to go inside so that I can see my sales rep. His name is TJ and he's the one who's been assisting me so much thus far throughout my process. Um, these are some of the cars that are currently on the lot right now. So let's just see what they have. So I knew that I wanted an SUV, like a mid-size SUV this go around because my Camaro, I've had it for the past eight years and um, two doors it, it's just it's been a journey <laughs> i knew that i wanted a vehicle with four doors so this one's pretty nice i do know that i want black on black that is like a must for me Ooh, it's the amg 43 don't mind layla she's dressed up in the spirit of halloween i suppose and here is tj over here here she is right here. This is my brand new baby. Isn't she so beautiful? Oh, so excited. Her name is Evie, by the way, because I just felt like it was fitting for a queen. <laughs> so yes, black on black. So beautiful. Got my red bow right here. Love it. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Okay, so. Layla, what do you think? It's the I black on black. But that means I can't eat it. Oh no, no eating in here. Okay, so you gotta do it through your phone. Okay. Um, so you'll go ahead and download Mercedes Me from the App Store. Okay. And then you should be ready to go. Okay. You should be ready to go. <laughs> Okay, so TJ's taking a bowl off right now. We just finished setting up my Mercedes Me account that shows me how to uh, lock, unlock, start, and stop the car on my phone. That's really cool. I'm excited about that. And we also connected my phone to the vehicle as well. So we're going to go ahead and take it outside. And yeah. Officially mine, y'all. Got the keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. No. This is for the uh, Mercedes Me Connect Finance app whatever and then right here let's take a look at this first so the driver we have this right here oh and this little tumbler <laughs> that's cute it says one for co-driver as well so i think it maybe it's the same thing let's see okay. so he has got two of these put those in the cup holders Go ahead and get inside. That was super sweet. 
I am grateful and thankful for this little gift or token of appreciation. So uh, she's finally mine, officially my mind. Uh, headed home now. I'm gonna give you a car tour in just a second so you can see all the interior, exterior features and all of that, so. Okay, so let me give you all the tour. As you can see, this is the front of the vehicle and it does have the LED lights in the front. I really like that. And as you come a little closer, you can see right here, just, you know, it has the emblem in the front. And I really like the grill. It has this cool little diamond pattern and I really wanted to make sure that my vehicle came with this particular grill because I thought that it looks nice and it gives the vehicle a nice sporty look. It also has the black accents along the bottom of the vehicle as well. So let's make our way around to the wheels. This vehicle does have the AMG um, body style. So at the exterior, it also has the AMG night package. So what that means is that the rims, they're 20 inch AMG rims as you can see right here and I'll get a little closer for you in just a second. So as you can see, they have the Mercedes-Benz emblem on them right here. It also has the black accent, which I really like. And as you can see on the brake pads, it does have the Mercedes-Benz logo as well. Also, as you can see, it has the brush aluminum running panel along the side of the vehicle, which I really like as well. Now keep in mind, I am not a uh, vehicle fanatic, so I don't know all of the details. So if I mess something up or I say something that's incorrect, then charge it to my head and not my heart. I don't, I don't know that much about vehicles, so. Yeah, this is what she's looking like. So as we make our way around back, you'll see that it has a spoiler in the back and it is black as well. It adds a nice little sporty touch. And these are the exhaust pipes in the back right here. Have the nice little chrome finish or aluminum finish to those as well. Next, let's take a look at the trunk of the vehicle. Now, of course, you have the, you know, on your key fob, you can press to open the trunk of the vehicle. But which is also really cool is if you, you know, take a look and you tap on the emblem in the back, it also opens up the trunk. And so this is what the trunk looks like. It's way more spacious than my Camaro, so I can't complain about that. And as you can see, you can release those seats as well to lower them to add added trunk space. This is what it looks like. Here, this is the little lever right here so that you can pull it to lift the seat forward. And then it also has the 12V port back here that you can use to charge things as well. Pull that one and you have added cargo space. Right here is where you can put your spare tire. And then over here, we just have a couple of things that they gave me. Okay, so this is the first aid kit. So my vehicle did not come with a spare tire. I do plan on purchasing one in the future just to be on the safe side. But in the event that you have a flat, they have a first aid kit that you can use to repair the tire. So that's over here. So you can pull this down as well to cover up your cargo so if you pull that back it's like a cargo cover so if you don't want people looking in or seeing what you have in your trunk you can always pull that back so yeah there's that this is um some type of netting i, I really don't know <laughs> i told you i don't know that much about vehicles and then we have the sirius xm and like uh the warranty pamphlet for year 2023 Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much all of the trunk right here. Now, when closing the trunk, you do have the option, say for instance, um, you're not in the vehicle, you don't want anyone to access what you have in there. You can always press this lock button right there. That's really cool. So they can access the inside of your vehicle, but they can't access your trunk. And if you wanna close it, you just press this button right here and it closes right on down. So yeah, that is the trunk. I wanna show you what the blinkers look like this amber orange color right here so this is what the blinker looks like in the rear of the vehicle and the front you see that you have it right here on the exterior mirror as well as the front right here the mirrors also have a sensor right here so in the event that you're driving and a vehicle is coming too close or you're trying to switch lanes and it's there in your blind spot this will light up red right here on both of your side mirrors to alert you to hold on a second 
there's something coming so don't wait them. So, of course with getting in any typical vehicle you have your key fob which you can use to either lock or unlock the vehicle and that's the panic button as well right there um, however with the Mercedes Benz you can it is touch so as you can see with the car being turned off and locked currently the windows are currently turned in but once you get in you just touch right here the windows turn out and the car is unlocked so let's go ahead and enter okay so once inside of course the first thing that you're going to notice is the steering wheel and this is the amg style steering wheel so it does have the flat bottom right here of course the steering wheel has the nice little silver emblem in the middle i know that some people like to bedazzle theirs i don't plan on doing that i want to keep everything looking nice and sleek you know i'm grown and sexy gotta keep my grown and sexy on so this is and this is what the horn sounds like pretty solid horn i think it'll get their attention to move out the way <laughs> sis is coming okay move thank you down below you can see that it has the galvanized um, brakes and pedals or whatever so that's cool as well and we'll get into all this in just a second. Uh, the first thing that I wanna focus on is the door panel. So typically in my other vehicle, of course, like the seat adjusters are on the side of the seat itself. However, in this car, they're right here on the door. So you can use this to adjust your seats um, as necessary. So I'll give you a demonstration of what that looks like. So say I wanna move forward. I just push this right here. And as you can see, the seat is moving forward. Then you have this button right here, which will adjust the top part of your seat. So let's push that forward. You want to move it back. You can adjust it to your liking. This button right here adjusts your headrest. So if you push that, I'm going to take a look that the headrest is either moving up or down. You can adjust it based on your height. So that's what that does. And last but not least, we have this seat adjustment right here, which kind of leans the seat forward and upward based on how you want to be adjusted in the seat. So this is what that looks like. In addition to the AMG wheel, it did also come with the AMG floor mats as well. I probably swapped those out for all season or all weather mats just because they are easier to keep clean. But yeah, let's finish taking a look at the rest of the interior. Also on the door, you'll see this button right here, which is to control your heated seats. It does have different levels, so three different levels, which will be great for the winter time. We have our speaker right here as well. These functions, let me get in a little closer. These of course are your windows standard for adjusting those as well. Um, and then you also have the lock if you don't want your passenger to adjust the windows. You also have your lock and unlock button on the door panel. And to demonstrate the rest, let me go ahead and turn the vehicle on. So you just step on the brake and then you press the push to start. In order to cut her on, let's turn this blinker off. So next up we have the mirror. So this button up here actually controls the outside mirrors opening and closing. So say for instance, you're in a parking lot and you don't want to run the risk of your mirrors being hit or you're in a tight spot. You can just press that button right there and your outside mirrors will close. Press it again and they open back up. This button right here is for adjusting your driver's side mirror. And then this button right here is for adjusting your passenger side mirror. So you wanna make sure that you keep those adjusted. That's the one of the things you learned in driver's ed. You wanna make sure when you get in, your mirrors are adjusted so you can see out of them. On the driver's side of the vehicle, you also have these buttons right here, which controls your front lights. So far, I've just been keeping it on auto so I don't even have to worry about my headlights being on, but you can adjust that as well to your liking. Um, and this, I believe this is for the cruise control. Don't, don't quote me. Cause like I said, I just got this car. So I don't know all the functions yet. I'm still learning. Yes. Yeah, so I was extremely loud and wrong just now. That lever actually controls the brightness of the dashboard. The cruise control button is on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. But you have that right there. Down below, we have this button right here that you will pull in order to pop the trunk. And then this lever right here is for popping the hood. Next, let's get into the functions of the steering wheel. You have this pad right here, which can control 
your dashboard. This side actually controls your infotainment center. It is a completely digital dashboard, which I think is really cool. Really like that. And then you can use this pad right here to control the things in the middle of it. Of course, it gives you an alert when your seatbelt's not on. And when you put your seatbelt on, it's like a nice little hug. It gives a little tug to make sure that you're secure. I like that. Um, and then, of course, you can press this button right here and you can change the settings let's go back no i don't want to change that so if you select service it'll let you know like your tire pressure whether or not you need additional cooling your engine oil levels things like that if you go back and then you go over to assistance it'll tell you like the last time you've braked your attention levels things of that nature then we go over to trips where it'll let you know how far you've traveled in a particular trip. You can set that or reset it at any particular point. So we can go to reset values. I'll just say yes for now. Next up, we have navigation. We can set up a particular trip. If you're traveling to a particular destination, you need directions, you can set up the navigation. Then of course you have your radio right here that you can use to change the stations right there. Let's turn, let's turn that down. You can go on over to media and you can, you know, that's the Apple CarPlay that I use on the daily. And then we have our phone that you can use to call someone if you don't feel like, you know, looking down, you can call them there and then we have designs. So right now it's in the classic mode. If I wanna go ahead and change it to sports mode, this is what it changes and it looks like in sports mode. And if we go to progressive mode, it looks like this. So you can always change that up. It also changes the way that your infotainment center screen looks like as well. As of right now, I've been driving in classic, but I think that I'm going to change it to sport now. Let's go ahead and change it to progressive. That's pretty cool. I think I like the way that that one looks. So we're gonna leave it in progressive right now. Over here is your speedometer, of course, and then you have your gas gauge to let you know how much, how many miles you have left before you need to fill up. And then over here you have your, it tells you like the RPMs and things like that of how fast you're going, I believe. Again, I don't really know, but uh, yeah. On the right-hand side, we have the gear shift, which is something that has been taking me a while to get adjusted to. Of course, I'm normally used to my gear shift being in the center of the vehicle, um, but on this particular vehicle, it's right over here. This button right here, you press to put the car in park. When you wanna shift gears, let me... <laughs> Make sure that I scooch up. When you wanna go ahead and hit reverse, you just push this lever up right there, and then you can just move it down to switch to the different gears. Press it again, vehicle's back in park. So something else that I think that's really cool while driving this vehicle is the braking system. This little button down here is your driver assist that you can turn on and off in the event that you want braking assistance or you say for whatever crazy reason you're looking down or an animal just randomly runs across the road. When you have that turned on, the vehicle will actually assist you and go ahead and hit the brakes for you. So that's pretty cool. And I know that that's been tested a lot. It is another, you know, added safety feature that I think is really great about this brand. So let me go ahead and put it in drive right quick. So say you're driving and then you stop because you are at a red light and it's an extended red light so you don't feel like keeping your foot on the brake all you have to do is to do a quick little press on the brake and as you can see right there it says hold it'll go ahead and hold the brake for you so if you take a look down here <laughs> my foot is off the brake and it's staying in place so that's really cool and when you're ready to go you just press the accelerator and you're off again so there's that so next i'm going to go ahead and just Put us back in reverse so we can back up again as you can see right here on the infotainment center we have our cameras that will detect when you're too close to anything and it'll show you 
how you're parking so if you're not that great at parallel parking or you're not that great at backing up you do have the camera right there that you can take a look at and it will give you a little bit more direction on this side of course you have this button right here which will control your windshield wipers as well as putting on your blinker and then if you say for instance there's a bug or something you need to clean you just push this button right here that's on the side of that lever up top we have the frameless rear view mirror right here which makes it look really sleek and modern so i love the fact that it is frameless you have that we have of course over here you know your mirrors and right here say for instance you can leave your registration right here have the lighted mirrors this light comes on on both of the mirrors so above the rear view mirror we have your light fixtures right here this one particular turns on just the light on the driver's side this one will turn on all of the lights in the vehicle and then this one right here is just for your passenger side these are the lights this is one this is the one for the trunk and i believe i don't actually know what that is this is your sos button so in the event that you're in a car accident you can use that to phone for help and then you also have your mercedes me account that you can use and call and ask for any assistance up top we also have my sunroof here so if i go ahead and pull that back you'll see that it has the sunroof up here so can either have that open or closed and this button right here is what controls this um sunroof so when you tap on that or pull it down it actually will open and close the sunroof we also have you press on that a sunglass holder up top now let's go ahead and get into this infotainment center shall we right the trackpad right here which controls your infotainment center as well it is completely um, touchscreen so you can just scroll through things this way or you can just use the trackpad and you can swipe left and right as well whichever you prefer so that's what that is here is where your device can be connected so if you tap on that you connect more than one device press that back button We'll go on over to the radio stations that you can set up. Also control your device, your car, Google CarPlay. And then this right here is the themes for your vehicle. So in the different dynamics, like comfort mode, it already has like the typical uh, lighting that comes with that. And it changes when you change it to sports, sports plus and individual. So I'm going to get into that a little further in just a second. Next up, we have ooh, info. And then, of course, your Mercedes, me, and apps. Lastly, we have the settings for the vehicle. So say, for instance, you want to change the sensors and you want to ask for assistance. You can make different adjustments right here. So there's that. Now, what I really want to touch base on is the ambient lighting right that is so cool so you see right here you have the different colors that you can choose from and you can actually choose multicolor. you have a bunch of different colors that you can change you can't see it right now because it's still light of course outside but i will insert a clip so that you can see what it looks like so you can pick different themes that you want to choose from depending on what mode you have your car in you can choose a singular color you can also choose multicolor animation where you can have more than one color that displays throughout your vehicle during the ambient lighting back you also have the ability to control the brightness of the color so if you want your ambient lighting to be turned all the way up you can do that or you can adjust it by turning it down whichever percentage you would like to keep it on and then when you're ready to go back to the home screen you just press that button right there and it brings you right back on home so another great thing is that this is a voice enabled vehicle as well so kind of like with your apple devices you can also talk to the vehicle and it will perform those actions for you all you have to say is hey mercedes how can i help and you can tell it what you wanted to do below the infotainment center we have our 
little jet vents right here you also have this one on the other side as well those are pretty cool they look like little jet engine thingy so use that adjust those to your liking and then of course we have like the main gears right here this is for the menu button right here for the infotainment center your air control is right here uh, you can either put your air in sync so that the temperatures on both your driver and your passenger side are aligned or you can press that and you can have different temperatures on both sides of the vehicle so in the event that you have someone who gets really cold easily because i like it cold they can have their own temperature over there on that side you can set your phone here and if your phone is compatible then you can actually utilize the wireless charging system which is pretty cool right here you just have your standard cup holders and yeah so the actual finish of this is the natural wood grain in the color black and ash so that's the pattern that's going on along here right here this is the automatic feature which pretty much cuts your car off or semi cuts your car off whenever you're at a red light it'll just cut it off slightly to save you energy on your vehicle the jury's still out on that right here we have the different gear dynamic so if you press that you can either change your car from comfort to sports mode to sports plus or you could do the fourth one which is like a customized drive on how you like to have your vehicle this button right here controls the volume of your audio and then some other knickknack patty what things that i haven't gotten around to figuring out how to use just yet right here we have another center console right here which opens up i don't have anything in there but it has additional usb c ports as well so you can put that in there to charge your phones storage things of that nature as we make our way over to the passenger side of the vehicle the seats as you can see they are black on black and it also has the mercedes Ventex trim along the seating it also has it up here on the dash as well which adds a nice little additional accent and in each of the doors you can see that they have cup holders as well here is the glove compartment i don't have really much in there either besides this these are the lock bolts to make sure that no one can steal your tires so that's what's in my glove compartment as of right now all right so i'm gonna go ahead and head to the back of the vehicle so you can see what it looks like from the back seat now you can't see it right now so i'll insert that clip as well but it also has the led logo projectors that shows the mercedes-benz emblem on the ground love that love that love that it makes me just feel just makes me think about luxury so I had to have that. Now, when you're getting out of your vehicle, it does give you this alert. Don't forget your key, which is very helpful because I forget things sometimes. So it'll notify you not to leave your keys in the car. You don't want that to happen. Okay, so this is the back of the vehicle. Just open that up right there. It also has the AMG floor mats. This is a five passenger vehicle. So you have the three seats in the back. I really like that it has the concealed little holders back there as well so if you have like little newspapers you want to put a bible back there you can do that and it's essentially seamless so that just ties right in it makes it look really nice and clean the center also folds out into an additional cup holder so if you have anyone that's in your back seat and i don't really have anyone except for my daughter you have storage space right here and then you also have when you press that the cup holders that will come out for you. So let's close that back up. Your backseat passengers also have their little air vents as well that they can cut on or off. And below that, we also have additional spaces where you can charge your devices. So you have this one right here. Of course, you can put in, you know, little lightning plug and then you have the USB-C ports back here as well. I tested out sitting in the back and I had a lot of room so I think that's very good. I don't really anticipate having many backseat passengers besides my daughter but yeah that's 
what it's looking like. So yes, this is my new car. I am so excited. I thank God so much for this new blessing. I promise that I'm gonna take better care of this car than I did my last one. But yes, I appreciate you all so much for tuning in. I will see you on the next video.